So now that we have the engine mounted in the frame to give it a bit of weight, we can go ahead and mount the new fork. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove the old outer races from the neck so that we can install the new bearings. You want to make sure that these are removed, the new stem won't fit through them, and it'll also throw off the spacing. Here we have the all balls conversion bearings that will work with the new stem. The kit includes some spacers and a seal. The spacers are used to make up the difference between the old bearing and the new bearings. Normally these bearings need to be pressed or, or tapped in, but for whatever reason this bore was a little bit looser than normal and so this bearing slid in. It's still a really tight fit, um, so I'm not concerned, but uh, it is a bit different than normal. Now that I have the bearings installed, I'm going to take a spacer out of the kit and just see how many is required to get that surface to stick out past the bottom of the neck. Sometimes this requires one spacer, other times it requires two. So what you want to do is go ahead and install that, push it all the way up in there, get the seal on it, and then we're going to take some calipers and measure across from the top of the top bearing seal to the bottom of the bottom uh, spacer. Next we're going to take this dimension and we're going to compare it to the outside to outside of bearing on the stem. You want to make sure that this is fairly close to the same and sometimes you need to add another spacer to get it a little closer. What you don't want to happen is to screw down the spanners and not have enough thread there. So you just want to make sure of that before you press that lower bearing on. Because once that lower bearing's on it's going to be quite a pain to get it, to get it back off. So here I'm using a small arbor press to press the bearing on the rest of the way. The conversion stems we offer have uh, a bit of a lead in. It helps you align that bearing so that it goes on straight and then just give it a little bit of a push and it should seat right down onto the, onto the seal and the, the spacer. So for right now, since we're just kind of mocking things up, trying to get the frame to a rolling chassis, um, I'm not putting any grease on these bearings. All of this stuff will have to come back off uh, before, we, before we get everything powder coated and once we get all the framework done. To retain the trail, we're running a 45 millimeter offset. And down here on the bottom of the lower clamp, we've got the adjustable steer stops. And once we get the tank and everything where we want it, we can go back and, and set those so we're not bumping the tank. Unfortunately, here on the top clamp, the original steering lock uh, ignition piece needs to be removed because it's hitting where the wires will come out of this triple clamp for the, for the gauge. Forks we'll be using for this swap come from a 2007 CBR 600RR. 